Now, we think Switzerland is a very attractive market for a variety of reasons. I think, number one, there are fantastic companies, you know, hidden champions in Switzerland. They're often market leaders in their niche. They're often very well run, um, especially if you look at, you know, the high Swiss franc um, that has hit some of them. So those that are still in a fantastic position must be doing something right. They often are very well invested. They often are very um, outward facing because Switzerland has a very small interior market and so they're very export oriented and so we believe that there is quite a big pond of um, companies um, that are attractive um, that are also looking for capital to internationalize another big trend we're seeing is obviously digitalization where we feel we can help a lot of those often entrepreneurial led companies um, you know manage their growth and you know not only the next five years but the next 10 15 years um, in those mid-sized companies often the founders and the ceos are very busy and entrenched in running the daily business um, so they're grateful you know to often have a partner who can you know look at more strategic angle and help them where should their company go how should their company look like in 10 um, or 15 years another attractiveness i think of the swiss market is in our view the quite liberal regulatory and the tax regime and so if you look at kind of risk returns and you have you know very high um, post-tax cash flows. That's something that is quite attractive to investors and something we look at. But mainly it's really the companies itself that we feel that they are often very conservatively managed with a lot of assets that can be released uh, once, you, once you buy them. And we believe what we have to offer chimes quite well with um, the, um, the typical Swiss entrepreneurs who look for a partner that's also conservative, that's discreet, uh, that's trustworthy, um, and that's uh, taking more long-term view. And so we've been quite lucky over the last few years to do uh, some very good transactions in Switzerland. So I think, as I alluded to already in the last question, I think Swiss entrepreneurs are quite um, peculiar. They're often very independent thinking. They're very proud of what they have achieved. They care deeply not only about their company, but also about the employees, about the other stakeholders. Um, depending which canton you invest in, often the local governments um, take a big interest in who will be the new owner. So we believe price is not always the decisive factor in um, who will become the next owner of a company or the next um, co-shareholder of a company. The Swiss entrepreneur looks beyond uh, just the valuation that you, you can offer. They really look at what value add can you bring, how can you help him, how will the employees react, how will the customers react, and how will local government react. And that's quite different to, I think, a more mature private, ec private equity market um, like in the UK or to some extent also in, uh, in Germany. And I do feel people are more keen on bringing more help in. They realize they need to internationalize, also due to the uh, strong Swiss currency. Um, they realize they need to have, if it's a manufacturing company, they need to have a footprint in NAFTA, they need to have a footprint in China or in Southeast Asia. And often they don't want to do this journey on their own. And so they look uh, for partners to do that. And they're very careful in selecting this. So for an investor, it can be very attractive to offer that because we feel once you have convinced them that you can be a great partner, the competition then to actually become their partner is less fierce than in you know, an auction process run in the UK or an auction process run in Germany. So we think Switzerland has is a small market, but we feel it's very attractive and it's growing. And the key attractiveness is, I think, the target, um, the, the targets that we have and also the spirit of the people running and owning these companies. I think it's a fantastic conference. I think um, Switzerland is an important market that doesn't get recognized um, enough. It has um, a big variety of participants, some with local presence, some that don't. So I think it's always great to meet people, market participants um, that you know are in the same industry, to have the opportunity to you know grab a coffee or a beer with them. And then when you meet in real life, um, maybe it's easier to speak to them, to find common ground, and to just hear ideas. Ideas. You know, how do they view the market? Um, you know, what are they seeing? What themes they're working on? And so I think it's very helpful to a, you know, uh, get to know the market participants better, but also to really understand what motivates them, what drives them, and also what um, what's currently on their mind. 
And so I'm very happy that I got the opportunity to be here. I think it's a great conference. I met a lot of people that I wanted to meet and met some new ones that I really uh, didn't expect to see here. And so I think it was a well-invested time and um, I'm sure I'll come back next year.